This video discusses our third case for partial fraction decomposition, which is when we have a prime quadratic factor in the denominator that does not repeat. If ax squared plus bx plus c is a prime quadratic factor of q of x, the partial fraction decomposition will contain the term of the form ax plus b over ax squared plus bx plus c. All right, so when we had the linear factor in the denominator, we said that what we have in the numerator always has to be a lesser degree. So when we had a linear denominator, we had to have a constant in the numerator. Well, now we're going to have a quadratic in the denominator. Our numerator has to be degree one less than that. So our numerator is going to be linear, and that's how they get this ax1, a1x plus b1 in the numerator. So we're basically just doing one less degree in the numerator based on whatever the factor is in the denominator. We want to find the partial fraction decomposition of 9x plus 2 over x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2. Well, if I was just doing this problem, the first thing I would do is see if I could factor that quadratic. Because if it factors into linear, we're going to proceed with the linear factors. If it does factor and you don't factor it, then you don't actually get the full decomposition. But no two numbers multiply together to be 2 and add together to be 2, so we're just going to leave it. Don't try to do, you know, rational zero theorem and force it to break down with radicals and imaginary numbers. Either it factors nice or... We just keep it as it is. So this example actually has a linear factor in the denominator and a quadratic factor in the denominator. So we're going to deal with both of those things, something we already know and something new. 9x plus 2 over x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2. This is going to be equal to two different fractions, one having a denominator of x minus 2 and the other having a denominator of x squared plus 2x plus 2. Now for the numerators. The numerator should always be a degree less than the denominator. So the first fraction, the denominator is linear, so the numerator is going to be a constant. In the second one, our denominator is quadratic, so our numerator needs to be linear. I don't want to start with a because I already used a in my first fraction. So this is going to be bx plus c. And once we get it all set up, everything else is the same. We're going to multiply through by the LCD. We're going to distribute. We're going to combine like terms. We're going to group things. We're going to equate coefficients generate a system of equations, solve that system of equations, and then rewrite our final answer. Multiplying by our LCD, x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2. This is going to give us 9x plus 2 equals a times x squared plus 2x plus 2. Plus, now be careful, we need to multiply this whole numerator by x minus 2. So be sure to put that bx plus c in parentheses. We'll multiply everything out on the right-hand side. I'm going to start to organize my right-hand side, writing it in descending order, so basically having our x squared terms next to each other, our x terms next to each other, and then the constants at the end. x 
and then we'll factor out our variables on the right so we can start our correlation. You'll notice on the left hand side, I don't have a quadratic term. On the right, I do have quadratic terms. So I want to put in a quadratic placeholder just so I have something to equate my coefficients to. And then we're factoring on the right. So this becomes a plus b times x squared plus 2a minus 2b plus cx. And then those last two terms are my constant. Now we're ready to correlate. 0 has to be equal to a plus b. 9 has to be equal to 2a minus 2b plus c. Now, if that 2a had been negative, I would have put a plus in front and kind of tucked the negative in with the, the 2a inside the parentheses. And then lastly, 2 is going to have to be equal to 2a minus 2c. So let's write up our system and solve. a plus b equals 0, 2a minus 2b plus c is equal to 9, and 2a minus 2c is equal to 2. And now we solve. I, I think the system can be the hardest part of this whole thing. Sometimes the, the systems can be intense to solve. I'm going to use substitution. So this first equation, A is, well, I actually want to solve for B. So B is equal to negative A. So now I'm going to take this negative A and plug it in there for B. That's going to give me... 2a minus 2 times negative a plus c equals 9. So this is going to be 2a plus 2a plus c. So that's going to turn into 4a plus c equals 9. And then I'm going to solve that 4a plus c equals 9 with my third equation right here. In order to use the addition method, I'm going to have to multiply the top equation by 2. That will give us 8a plus 2c equals 18, and then 2a minus 2c equals 2. Adding down, we get 10a equals 20. So A has to be 2. We can easily get B. B is equal to negative A. So B is going to be equal to negative 2. And then lastly, we need to solve for C. So I'm just going to take A equals 2 and then, and then plug it in here and solve for C. 2 times 2 minus 2c equals 2. So negative 2c equals negative 2, making c equal to 1. We're ready to plug a, b, and c back into our original equation, and we'll have our partial fraction decomposition. 9x plus 2 over x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 2 over x minus 2. And again, here's a case where, see, this b is negative. I'd leave the negative up top. I'm going to write plus negative 2x plus 1 over 
x squared plus 2x plus 2. If you wanted to make it a minus in between those two fractions, you can, but you have to factor the negative out of that whole numerator. So it would be minus 2x minus 1 over our denominator. So both acceptable answers. I'm usually just safe about it and keep the plus in between. In the fourth video on partial fraction decomposition, we'll be dealing with a repeating quadratic factor.